It has been a really long time, my creative peeps, since we've had a creative week vlog. So let's chill out together and catch up. Hello my creative peeps and welcome back to my channel for another video. Today we are finally doing another creative week vlog. I didn't realize until now that it has been since December since I made one so we have lots to catch up on. I do have an exciting collaboration announcement in the middle of this video so make sure you stay tuned for that. It is technically not art related, but it is something that I enjoy um, incorporating into my practices that connect to journaling, so I'm excited to share that with you. It's more of a self-care collab. So anyway, <laughs> uh, here I'm just working in my journal. This is kind of my weekly card guidance spread that I did for the full moon. And I'm just attaching a picture of the cards with kind of the different questions I asked about and stuff. This is very personal, but this is something that I enjoy doing and I'm trying to share more of my personal type journey with you guys this year. Not just journal related things, but other parts of my life, uh, which you may have noticed a lot if you follow me on Instagram, which is always linked in the description box below. If you're interested in following me on there, but yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I thought while I was kind of doing this, we would go over some fun clips that I've taken over the past couple months. Uh, spring is kind of on its way. It's gonna get cold again, but um, here's some snow clips for you first. <laughs> So one of the things I did for the first time this year, I actually knocked out a first on the first, which was awesome. I went snowshoeing for the first time with my boyfriend. He had like old school military surplus snowshoes. So we took those out on the property and just walked around in the fields and stuff. And it was lots of fun, definitely challenging, but I've been a couple times since and it's just really, it was a good time. Now that it is starting to warm up a little bit here during the day, the snow is melting. We also had a ton of rain. So this is just a clip of the water from the other side of the street. There's like a baseball field across from our little farm. And there was so much water across the street that it was bubbling out on our side and creating like literally a river in what usually is just a dry field. So I thought that was really cool and that you guys may enjoy that. And now on to some journaling. I hope you guys enjoyed those clips. I love like nature clips and just seeing where other people live and I just like being outside. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy those too. We're gonna journal a little bit now. It is March in this particular clip. To be perfectly honest, of course, I am behind. <laughs> My life is pretty busy and sometimes I struggle to find time to journal. So yeah, I just started documenting March in the second week of March, which is totally cool. I am by no means done February and I still have written journaling for January to do, but the reason I'm telling you this is because I wanted to let you know that if you're behind, even if you haven't even started for 2020 yet, you are not alone and it's all part of the process and it's totally okay. I try to fit in to my journal, not only, you know, special events and things that are going on, uh, and general playtime, of course, like playing with paint and such, but I also try to incorporate like the little things from my life that I'm doing. So you'll see that I'm adding some shots of my, just a bag 
taking my traveler's notebook and running to the post office. I also have a little bagel and defense juice thing there uh, that I got one day. I add things like uh, yoga photo that I posted on Instagram. I have a card that I did for a collaboration. And you see in the background like a little doodle of stars with some names. That was literally a scrap piece of paper that I doodled start on while I was on hold with the IRS. <laughs> so yeah, I just, no matter what your journal looks like or what, how far caught up you are with documenting the precise day that it is or whatever, in the end, it's not really about what happened on what specific day, or at least for me, it's more about these are a collection of the things that were happening at that time in my life, and it's therapeutic for me to put them together in a pretty way, even if they weren't all sunshine and roses <laughs> experience. So I hope you guys do find that inspiring. I also wanted to share with you a couple things that I've been playing with. <laughs> You will see me use a distress crayon, which I haul later in the video, so I won't talk too much about that, but I just kind of use that on the black paper to play around and make like a little bit of an interesting background for this photo. I haven't really worked with these before, and I'm really enjoying the black paper in this journal. It's pushing me out of the comfort zone that I had gotten in with just sticking stuff down on patterned paper and just working in this journal this year has just been such an awesome experience. So thank you again, Nina, for giving me this journal so that I could work in it uh, a year later. <laughs> but yeah, really fun. I also wanted to share with you guys an update on the chalk mark chalk blah 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 blah. I also wanted to share with you guys an update on the Chocola markers. A lot of you were wondering if they would fade or, and I would be wondering that too, if they would rub off and such. Uh, but as you can see, as I flip back and through forth through this journal, the chalk markers that I used on previous pages, they stayed just as bright. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll leave linked in a card. The uh, journaling session with that. But yeah, I'm still really enjoying them. They still work great. Uh, this hair is a great example of the difference on a photo versus paper. You just have to add extra layers. But yeah, they are, aren't rubbing off. Uh, they haven't faded at all. Of course, I don't leave my journal open really, so I don't know how the sun affects them. But yeah, so far, really cool. Uh, so there's the update for those of you that were interested in that. Here I'm adding a tip-in of a journal card that I did for a smart art collaboration. And speaking of collaborations, let's just, you know, nonchalant segue into the collaboration that I'm dying to talk about. So one of the things that I always struggle with if you guys know me, uh, and if you're new, ooh, I will just explain real quick. I struggle with finding time for myself to balance journaling and work and life and relationships. And this is especially difficult for me because I am fully self-employed and I wear a ton of hats. I am a YouTube creator. I create things on Patreon. I have an Etsy shop. I'm a one-woman show, <laughs> I make journals, I do classes on Skillshare, and that's just my creative business. I also have another business where I clean, so I clean residential homes, and I also clean rental properties uh, by the beach in the summer, and I've also recently picked up a do job dog walking. I don't know if you can call it walking because I just kind of let the dog out, um, which has been a really awesome experience. I'm so excited to add this to all of the hats that I wear. 
is a super sweet dog and it's on a lake which is going to be super buggy <laughs> once it starts to warm up but he's just so sweet and this is just a little clip of him he's kind of chilling in the lake on this little snow island chewing on a stick and just being a dog and he's adorable so anyway i wear a lot of hats and i find it's really hard to find time for myself and i also struggle sometimes with switching tasks because my days are so different and they're scheduled all over the place i could have a couple hours in the morning to work on my creative stuff and then i have to run and do the dog walking and then clean two places and then come home and work for an hour in my creative stuff and then try to fit in things like journaling and yoga and making dinner and spending time with my boyfriend when he gets home from work and it gets to be a lot and one of the things that i found has really helped me lately in not only bringing some zen to my life but also just kind of helping me transition between these different tasks in my life is using a cue and my cue is the smell of essential oils now hold on just just bear with me let's just just stick with me for a minute <laughs> I know this is going to sound crazy, but okay, this is my collab. We'll get back to the journaling after, but I'm really, really excited about this. So Emerald Winterwood reached out to me. If you have no idea who Emerald Winterwood is, I remember I mentioned her in my, I think it was my last Creative Week video. I purchased some bath products from her and crystals and stuff and shared those with you guys. And I'm just, I'm absolutely in love with her sugar scrub, scrub stuff. Anyway, she reached out to me and said, would you like to do an essential oil collaboration? And I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> so unlike other collaborations that I've done in the past with other companies where they're just a company and they say, hey, can you sh try out my product and share it if you like it and stuff like that. I actually got to play a role in making it. Old Winterwood is run by a creative peep. Her name is Elizabeth. And she said, hey, if you want to kind of share your favorite blends and come up with some sets and stuff, we can um, do that and I'll make the products and stuff like that. And I was like, hell to the yes. So here I am sharing this with you. I'm so excited. I'm going to start out by saying this is her website. If you have any questions at all about the things that I show, what's in there, what kind of bundles are available, what the pricing is, etc., etc., please visit her website and check it out. You can also email her. I will try to answer questions if I can, but since she's the one making them and selling them, she would be your best bet. So here are the blends. I want to share them with you. I do want to also say if you want anything from Emerald's shop, I have a coupon code for you, which you can use. It just doesn't work on products that are already on sale, but I will leave that linked below for you. So the blends I've come up with are some that I love to use. So this here is Fresh Air. They come in roller balls. Um, there are also little sample sets, which are a giveaway, so shh. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> but first we have kind of like a cool, refreshing, nighttime, relaxing type set. So we have fresh air, peppermint, and quiet nights. And the peppermint actually has little crystals in there. So it's crystal infused, which is really cool. I believe the peppermint has quartz in it, clear quartz. And the single scent of grapefruit in the next set also has uh, crystals in it. So basically... It's a rollerball, you have the peppermint fresh air, which is like some citrus mixed with some things like peppermint. Um, and then there's quiet nights, which is like peppermint and eucalyptus and some orange. I really like citrus and like those crisp scents. So a lot of these blends include that. Purification is one of her blends that she already had in her shop, but I really love the smell of it. So I included that as well. I also put together Morning Buzz. Now, Morning Buzz is one of my favorite scents, and after she made them, she said it's one of her favorites too, which is really cool. So, Morning Buzz is the one I was talking about that I use as like a transition signal. So, what I do is when I sit down to 
just work for the day and get myself kind of in that creative zone at my desk. I take this off, I give it a smell, I rub some on my wrists, and then I just get to it. And it's a really nice like, hey, this is your cue. It's got a little spice, it's got a little citrus. It's just like, mm, I love it so much. So that's what I use with that. Uh, the cooler ones like Fresh Air and Quiet Nights are the ones that I use kind of before bed or before doing my yoga, depending on if I'm doing like an uplifting yoga or a relaxing yoga will depend on which one I use. I also like to do some of them before I journal. So again, just create that mood with either the cool or the warm, not the cooler or the warm. Here, what am I giving a color lesson? <laughs> the bright or the calming scents. They also come in these adorable little sample sizes. So she has put together some sample sets to give away, uh, which is awesome. I'm so excited. So you got the little sample set, which are these adorable little mini ones. They're great for throwing in your bag or trying out the scents. Uh, there will be three winners and all the giveaway details will be in the, the description box below. Uh, again, due to shipping, it's only US, so I apologize to my international peeps, but hopefully soon we will have a giveaway for you guys. Um, but I'm really excited that three of you will get to try these out. Again, all the details will be in the description box below but they're just so cute and petite and then last but not least in this collaboration uh, because uh, yoga is part of my self-care practice right now as we talked about we have the yoga mat refresher sprays so it's just water uh, some witch hazel and the essential oil and then there's a little quartz crystal in there so it's kind of again energy infused so what you do is you just spray it on your mat and you wipe it down and it gives it not only that kind of cleansing effect but it also has a little bit of aromatherapy in there for you which is really cool I also like spraying mine into the air since it has that crystal in there it's kind of like a cleansing spray that's not what she created it for but that's just my own personal uh use for it it's just it gets me in the mood um the crystal is in there for you'd be able to shake it before you use it to mix all the oils and the stuff together since there's no added extra stuff in it i also did want to mention the roller ball the roll-on oil blends she created for me without coconut oil because I know some of people are allergic to coconut oil. Be sure to check uh, her description to make sure you're not allergic to anything. Do that. So thank you, um, Elizabeth, for doing that for me. But yeah, this is the line so far. We have the three yoga mat refresher sprays. I have the six roll-on blends. I mean, two of them aren't blends, they're single. But anyway, there are tons and tons of different combo packs she has put together that you guys can purchase. So again, check out her website for all the details and stuff like that. And yeah, thank you to Elizabeth for doing this collaboration with me. It's been an honor. I've been so excited about this. We've been working on it since January. I know some of you are going to be like, what the heck, Leanne? Because it's not directly journal related. But for those of you, my peeps who are into these kinds of things like I am, I know you'll be super hyped. So there's that. Don't forget to check the description box below for the giveaway details. And with all that said, let's get back into the creative week. Now would be a great time to take an intermission, bathroom break, or grab a beverage in your journal if you don't already have those because <laughs> this is gonna be a long video. But thank you so much for sticking with me and I hope you enjoyed the rest of it. So back in my journal here, we already talked about the puppy, so I don't need to really introduce those photos, but this here is just a little random sketch that I did. I got the Art Snacks box for March because if you got the Art Snacks box for March, you got an extra bonus box for free from Tombow, and I really wanted to see what that was, so I did that. <laughs> um, so with the Art Snacks box, there were, a hashtag not sponsored by the way, 
there was some watercolor and some colored pencils and I was watching a journaling video and I saw a sticker by Amy Tangerine that had like these blocky watercolor pink tree things and the design had like this branches drawn in after the fact. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I experimented with making something like that with the products that I had. So that green tree is what I came up with. And then I wanted to put these photos from that clip that I showed you about my new puppy sitting job. So here we are. Just I glued down a Project Life card as like part of the background there. And then I'm putting down these photos on the side, kind of like a strip. So there's that. And I haven't finished it yet, but that's where it stands. Now we're moving on to a collage. This is my current bullet journal. I started a new bullet journal insert in January and by the time February was over, I didn't have enough pages for March. So I had purchased this big uh, book insert thing from Chiroko Design Shop. It's basically a journal with Tamoya River paper in it, but it only came in A5. So I cut it down to standard size and I bought one of like the second chance reject ones or whatever so there was this interesting bubble on the cover which didn't really bother me because I was like I'm just gonna cover it up anyway so here I am I have just a bin of random magazine scraps I've cut out and I'm going through it and trying to collage my cover together I fiddled around with this a ton I really wanted to keep this not like imagery specific but like a general vibe of like water stars summer feelings <laughs> outdoorsy type things so you'll see a lot of like underwater and pool clippings and stuff like that i also have that random picture of a palm tree and a little bit of a girl's hair there are some stars I believe it was from like a makeup photo. They were like star glitters on somebody's skin, but I just wanted to add that there. There's like a picture of some wallpaper with a chandelier. So I really just kind of went with color schemes and things like that. And I'm using a Diane Reevely collage glue stick to collage all this down. I'm not super worried about whether it's gonna come up or not because I am going to put clear packing tape over this to keep it all like secure and stuff. So I'm really just worried about how the collage looks in particular. And I did try to wrap things around the spine so that it would be kind of a seamless collage and not look like this is the front and this is the back. <laughs> and I feel like overall I accomplished that pretty well. After all the fiddling and stuff, you would think that this would be like a quick process because it looks so simple when you're done, but this took me like over an hour <laughs> to do. But it was just, it was really fun. I had some YouTube going on in the background. I believe I was watching Courtney Diaz because she's like the collage queen. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I was doing that. And. I don't have a lot to say about this, just that it was lots of fun, and that's it. <laughs> One of the reasons I kind of shy away from specific images on my covers of my journals is because I intend to use this journal for a long time. and my taste team seem to switch a lot and I kind of get tired of looking at things sometimes. So I don't want to pick like a specific image that I know I won't be in love with. Oh, that looks really good. Why didn't I put that on there? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't want to pick like a specific image 
in case I get sick of it uh, a couple months from now because that will make me want to change books and yeah I could just like re collage over it but that's just not how I roll with covers so yeah I don't know that's just that's just my style that's why I kept it like very abstract you'll see I did audition a few things like my vinyl stickers which are in the shop the moon sticker which is like the whole moon and then the holographic that one right there <laughs> the holographic moon face sticker um and i do have them on other books that are in my traveler soap book at the moment so that wasn't like a huge deal or whatever but i decided against putting those on there for now and i thought i wanted to continue this like blue type of theme onto the back cover here but in the end, I decided on just a, an image right, right after I said I wouldn't put like a real image on there, you know. Um, like you'll see I do decide on a, a full image for the back cover. And it's not that this collage here that I was trying out didn't look good. It just, I don't know, it just didn't feel right and that's part of collage is it's just a gut feeling whether that's what should go there or not I was really struggling here trying to incorporate more greens but the dark greens don't really go with the shades that I already have going on so here we are here's this cabin in the woods treehouse image or whatever and I'm just gonna put the whole dang thing <laughs> on the back cover and I could not be happier with my decision um that's just that's just how it ended up and I thought maybe I would put a few things on top of that but nope I just I put the whole image on there and I've been using the cover now oh gosh I'm well, anyway, it, it started it in March, so there we are. <laughs> I'm this far into it, and I still love it, so hopefully it stays that way. But yeah, just looking at this at this cover, just it screams where I'm at in my life right now, and I'm very happy with it. So here we are, trimming off the excess, because that's what you do. And then when it's all said and done, after I finish trying to put things on there that don't belong there, I put packing tape over the whole thing and call it a day. I did think maybe I wanted to put a label on here to write like the year or whatever on, but I decided against it. I'll just write it on the outside after I'm done like I usually do. And that's about it. I wanted to share a haul with you real quick because it's been a long time since I did like a haul and I went on a little bit of a shopping spree the other day so I thought I would share some things with you. First, let's just get into it. Okay, I, you guys have seen these scissors. These are I believe Dollar Tree or Martin scissors or something and they work pretty good but they're pretty gummed up and I've had them for a long time and I wanted some pretty scissors because, you know. Hashtag Cracker Life. So I found these, these glitter scissors. It was really hard to find affordable scissors that were pretty. Uh, a lot of the scissors in the craft store that exist are for fabric, so they're wicked expensive. And I don't know, everything I saw, at least in like Michaels and stuff, was all like orange and teal and basically looked what I, like what I already had. But I found these at Joann's and I'm so excited to use them. So excited. Okay. So <laughs> that was the first thing I got. Next, I picked up these medium happy planner discs because... I have this old Arc System binder. Now this used to be my planner 
in college. That's why all of these like stickers and stuff are on it. I did cover up one of the stickers I wasn't a fan of anymore that was pretty much like coming apart with my moon sticker but I recently have been enjoying these like full and new moon workbooks by the spirit daughter so I thought this would be a fun place to put them. I buy the digital copy and then I print them out and I'm taking notes on they have like just easy things to digest on like beginner astrology and stuff that also goes with the moon phase so it's helping me learn little by little but I only had these tiny black rings and like big honkin black ones so I thought these would be cute they're pastel rainbow and obviously they're bigger than the ones I have in there now but not as huge and they're not the same like brand system but they should work just fine so I'm going to put those in there. So I'm excited for that. And just to go along that with that real quick, I didn't get these in the store, but I got these online. And I'm very excited. This is the Light Sears Tarot. The rest of the stuff's going to be craft stuff. Don't worry. But I know some of you will like to see this. I got this on Amazon. And I wanted a tarot deck. I mean, I like the tarot deck that comes with the book that I'm using to learn well enough but this just was like so much more me like the pictures are gorgeous and it's like a very nice matte deck and it's just I don't know it's nice and modern there aren't any like weird I don't know it's just really really pretty and I used it this morning for the first time so that was nice that's why it's all like out of order and stuff I have to show you first the em the empress card is the one that's on the front I don't even know where it is but they're just super they're just so pretty wait no not the empress the high priestess sorry anyway so that's that really like that I don't know why, but I had a hard time finding tarot decks that I actually liked the illustrations of. I often find I love the box, and then I look at the cards in the box, and I'm like, that doesn't even have anything to do with the picture on the box. You suck. <laughs> so, next, a couple boring things. I got some post-it notes. The smaller post-it notes are super hard to find affordably, and this was like the last... A uh, small pack they had and I had a coupon so I got this next uh, all the Jane Davenport stuff not all of it a lot of the Jane Davenport stuff's getting clearanced out at Michael's or at least the couple that I've been to in the past week or so and you guys may or may not know that when I do my swatches this is actually the stencil I use this is from Jane Davenport and I like to use these boxes and I don't know I just I wanted another one and I figured for $1.97 I might as well just get it so there's that next on the clearance were these happy planner memory pocket cards and I look at these all the time because hello this one and you can see the <laughs> the watercolor palette in the background so I don't know how many of these I'm gonna actually like 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 but even if I only like those a couple of them that it was only three dollars so do we love good times hello happy like relax relax I love that one good stuff or happy place so yeah this one I'm okay with there aren't like a bunch of I mean there are some pink and red but there aren't too many at least I, I only took out one pocket look at me I'm like oh there's like perfect how sweet there's a lot of nature ones which I like I'm not too keen on like live a color for life but I like the having fun and yeah I like most of them so that's gonna be fun to use especially can you tell I'm itching for warmer weather like so excited to not be freezing my patoot off anymore 
as I say that it's going to be negative 14 tomorrow but you know you and me home is the nicest word there is you sparkle I like that one okay so maybe I like these a little less be life, beautiful, so many flowers, and us. Love that one. Don't, I haven't read the whole thing, but. So, those are kind of disappointing. So, my pen pals will get some of those, because a lot of them like flowers, and I do not. So, my loss is their gain. This was the card I was excited about. You color my world with love and laughter and all the stuff that matters. That is not as exciting. That's a little too sappy for me, but I like this, so I'll probably just put something over that. I do like the little, little squares, so that's good. Why is this so about love? Live in the sunshine. Documented. Go see Explore. Love that one. Okay. So there's that. Like I needed more cards, but there we go. So I got those, and then I got these. And I've never used these. To be honest, I don't remember how to use them. I'm going to have to watch a video on it. I know that they're water reactive. And I'm pretty sure you can smudge them, but once you water them down, they're permanent, if I remember. But anyway, these were on clearance for six bucks. Usually they're like almost 20 bucks for a set. So that was a great steal. And I got the pastel and the bright set. Those were the only two there. And how could I pass that up, right? I mean, teal, yellow, perfect, blue, perfect, green, perfect. Don't really like orange, but that's okay. And then all the pastels. So we'll play with those at some point next i'm sure you're rolling your eyes i got another sticker book uh this i wasn't too i had had a couple of glasses of wine when i got this but i got it because well one it's got donuts on it and other like colorful things uh, I don't really care so much about the celebrate like party stuff, but I like the like, yeah, see you go girl, yay. Mostly I got them for these. These, I just love these bubble letters. Well, that's cool. But I don't know. I don't know what it is about these balloon letters, but I just think they're awesome. And there were four sheets and... I need space. I didn't even see that. So glad I got that. Ready to partay. So yeah, I'm really glad I got this now. Just like with any sticker book, not 100% of it is my cup of tea, but I've definitely seen enough of the things that I like so far. You can never have enough movie night stickers. It's just like it's Pinterest and stickers, and, and I'm okay with that. So using that I got this jewelry storage it was on sale for like 40% off and they're only three bucks anyway these are at Hobby Lobby uh, I got this because I thought maybe I could maybe I could try the die cuts in here die, die cuts sticker flakes in here I know I made that sticker book thing but I don't know I just I'm looking for a better way to use them, so I figured I would try it this way, and I do have beads that I need another organizer for, so if it doesn't work for that, then I got that, and ta-da. And then last but not least, I got two pads of paper, so these were on clearance as well. It was like seven, six something, seven dollars for the pad. And again, they got me with food. And then in case you think I was hungry when I got this, I was not. I was as far from hungry as you could possibly get. We went to the Olive Garden before. And um, 
Maybe I was on a sugar high, but oh my god, they're double sided! I'm so excited. I didn't realize they were double sided. So I have these like, I have some cookbook pages and some like recipe cards and some bags that I got that were from like, I rescued out of the recycling of some kind of like food. Um, what is it called? It's corner, it's not cornerstone. Oh my gosh, it's like a popular like food, um, gourmet food brand. But anyway, I just, I don't know, future journals. I thought that would be really fun. So there's that. And then of course, Galaxy. My aunt pointed this one out to me. So that was awesome. This is the reason I even got these because otherwise I just would have walked right by them. These again were at Joann's, same place I got my fantastic scissors from. These are not double sided, which is kind of annoying and weird since they're from the same thing, but maybe because these were some of these are foiled. So I do plan on making some galaxy and space journals. So I got these papers and of course I'm saving a couple for myself so I don't know how many journals I'm gonna make out of this but <laughs> you'll at least see the papers in my journal is that selfish I don't know but anyway there's that so there's two of each design and that's that's my little haul I hope you guys enjoyed that guys time to wind down a little for the rest of this video this is me creating the background for the March download this is also the background that I used for my new end screen which I already need to fix <laughs> but you know youtuber life and yeah, I just had a lot of fun with this. I think I'm going to incorporate this into my new branding. So super excited about that. And yeah, I just started with some scribble sticks and some new color twos and decided to make a background. I tried to stick to teals and greens and yellows because those are kind of my colors. And just really started a background and then as you'll see I go on to add some other things to this I still have a ways to go on creating this but I just wanted to say take this opportunity thank you to my patrons for sponsoring today's video they help me continue to put food on the table and feed my turtle <laughs> and have clothes on my body and buy supplies and continue to make videos for free so thank you so much to my patrons thank you to every single person who is watching this video because you rock and you help me have a purpose for making these videos which is really fun so here I am just finishing this up I have some marabou ink I dropped in there I'm spreading it around on my paintbrush and dropping it in in big blobs. I drop in some yellow ink, I think. Yeah. So here's some yellow watercolor ink stuff that I'm just plopping on in there. The teal and yellow basically just make green. So these colors work really well together and it doesn't really matter what way they blend together. It's just fun to experiment. If you want to know how I work with color, I do have a whole lesson in my creative journaling class that's on Skillshare and on my website, hashtag shameless plug, where it talks all about how I work with color and avoid making mud. So if you have not checked that out already, you can, like I said, either check it out on Etsy or you can use the link in my description at any point to get your first two months of a Skillshare for free, which would allow you to take both my classes and any other class on there from any other artist. I went ahead and dropped some teal in there because, again, 
like I don't even need to explain you guys understand <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much it for me today you guys thank you so much for hanging out please don't forget to subscribe if you have not already so you don't miss any of my future videos give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this please don't forget about the giveaway uh find all the things you need to know in the description box below and i'll catch you guys in my next one take care guys bye